Hi Leos, how are you doing? Happy birthday if it's your birthday. <laughs> so what do Leos need to know today? So we're going to do past, present and the possible outcomes of today. So what do Leos need to know? What do Leos need to know? Okay, so we'll use two cards there and there and then. Okay, that's sort that out. So, Leos, let's have a look. So, in the slight past, we have a maturity, a maturity going on. This will mean that you've come to a understanding of your situation you can now see that it's developed how you might understand your heart a little bit better and your mindset this will also give you a peace and understanding of an aspect where you can just accept more and more and develop more and more patience in developing and transforming a situation. So, for example, if you've come to an understanding that relationships are really struggling and your mindset is really come to an understanding that they're not the be all and end all. So it's a philosophy, philosophy that you're adapting and reasoning. So by doing that, it is mature to move on. There's also, for a lot of you, a maturity in developing a new aspect of work and how you work. Because... Before, you could have been um, very, not short-tempered, but very kind of at the end of your tether, at the end of your fuse. But now you're having this new direction almost and seeing things a lot clearer and with a little bit more calmness, would you agree? So there is an aspect that this is bringing about a whole peaceful time. Also, you'll find that Transforming new challenges come with a sense of peace as well. So it's quite a nice time that you're coming into. I spoke too soon, didn't we? <laughs> so the mindset will always play tricks. So if we can go back to the aspect of that understanding, and when things are really on, on a tight fuse, and, and then this... Uh, um, clutter in your mind comes about, then reevaluating with a mature, peaceful aspect and saying to yourself, Well, this all needs to be thrown away, it needs to be sorted out. Why is these thoughts coming to my mind? You know, I, I'm the one who's in control and not my mind. Um, it's meant to be doing me a favor, not a disfavor. So this is in the slight past. So you may have been studying affirmations or just a more positive approach to every situation. But sometimes the mind will kick in and that's when the short fuse will just make everything blow up. Um, you're allowed to be angry and frustrated. That's fine. Absolutely fine. <laughs> so let's move on to the... Oh, what's wrong today? <laughs> So we have, um, the other sign was a little bit depressing as well. So we have this aspect of guilt. Guilt is interesting because it's a lot like the uh, Ten of Swords card, this, that clawing at your mind in a sense that you may be self-criticising, you may be a little anxious about situations, but change is definitely here. When, when all these decisions and frustrations are here, 
one has to just move away. So say for an instance, Leos, if if there's arguments and frustrations going around and, and you don't know where to turn, just walk away. Uh, walk away to this newness of daisies up here and blossoms. Because we have to rise higher. And this is also um, an interesting aspect. If you go higher than your mind, you touch into your intuition and then you touch into other aspects of yourself as well. So staying low and really focused and putting all, all your focus on the negative aspects that people are telling you, um, the media are telling you and all the rest of it, is causing this to come back. This is nonsense. It's really confusing. It's really full in your mindset. So it's making you still be like that. And all these thoughts are just too much. But we have to go back to this mature, peaceful aspect where our emotions kick in slightly and we feel a little bit more loved. So if we can love ourselves a little bit more today, Leos, and walk away from those thoughts, just stop the thought and say, no, you do not have a hold on me. I am in control and I choose which thought to focus on. So there is an element here, isn't there, of too much going on. So when there is too much going on, then we need a little bit more balance. So this is an aspect where having too much at once can cause the downfall of what you're trying to achieve. So all these people saying, oh, can you just do this? And oh, I've got to do that. Oh, now I'm delayed because I haven't done this. And this is more important. And, and it's oh, I just need a rest. So focusing on one thing at a time, perhaps, um, would really achieve a lot, especially when people are just nagging you and asking you to do things. And oh, it's just too hectic. It really is. But going back to this aspect that you've tapped into before. This is a healing aspect and this is still focusing on what needs to be done and the thought process is just too much. So let's just see, Leos, what is going on. There you go. You've got the celebration of your heart. So that's really good. And you've also got morality here. So these two things that a possible outcome could be is if you free yourself from constraints of the mind and the possibilities that here you're feeling you have to do this and you have to do the other because that's the way my life is at the moment. I, ha I have to do the shopping. I have to um, go to work. I, I have to do all these things. Uh, all other things you know and it's just too much and maybe you're a single parent and and you know you have to do things that you have to do and it, it just feel like oh, such a chore at the moment it's really impossible for me I, I really can't cope so freeing yourself freeing your mind and the things that you have to do is kind of essential to be able to celebrate who you are and that emotional touching of that mature attitude where you think, right, it is what it is, but I am not my mind and I am definitely not anything else that people tell me. I'm my own person and I am going to go higher. I'm going to learn to just delegate or not do so much. What is important today that has to be done? And those are the things that should take priority. And, and that frees you to allow yourself to, even when you've got all this, the rain is coming down, which is a life-giving source, but sometimes people don't like that. And they're celebrating even though it's raining. But it, rain and emotions and the water is nourishing and it's cleansing. It's, it's washing all the clouds away. It's freeing you up. So it is a bit cluttering 
However, for yourself, if you tap into celebrating who you are, really connecting with happiness, and even just talking to your best friends, that is going to really allow you to understand more of what you're going on. Because if you talk to somebody who knows you and has that empathy for you, then it's so much better. And that is a mature way of going on, on about it. Even if you just say, oh, do you know what's happening today? Oh, you know, and I'll go, yeah, I know. <laughs> and, and, you know, that's that little bit of support. So we're going to do the Sacred Earth Oracle for you and see what's going on here. What do we use? Right, Leo's. Ah, oh. <laughs> unity. So you have unity today. So with the unity, it's a great card to unite who you are with yourself on a gentler level. Holding, you see, you're holding the earth here. It's like your problem at the moment and how you are focusing on the negative aspects is in the world that little thing that you're thinking is in the world but if this is you you're holding the whole world so your one little thing it is only a little drop in the ocean literally so yes you have to put emphasis on it but you don't have to let it consume you you're consuming it not the other way around so if you're worried and concerned about an aspect today then see it like this that you're holding the earth and in it is your problem which is tiny because there's loads of people on the earth and each one of those people have got a situation going on similar but you're holding all that and giving it the love and the intention and giving it the energy to dissolve it, burn it away. Does that make sense? Right, I'm going to give you lots of love, Leo, and we'll see you again later. Thank you for watching.